Jimmy believed in something that I, I still have, can't comprehend yet. Okay, Jimmy's head was always out there. You know, that's why he never talked to anybody. Because, you know, most people would ask him, hey man, look, give me one of your socks or one of your shoelaces. You see what I mean? That's all people wanted him about for, or sign my autograph. But Jimmy, Jimmy didn't sign autographs, did he? Yeah, he signed them. But he was, he, you know, he thought it was ridiculous. He thought it was ridiculous that people would come and get up. But then he had, you know, he had to, 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 to find a bond between him and his fans. So in other words, what, what he really wanted to give, they didn't want or weren't ready for. So they, yeah. just, they just wanted the, the, the pieces. The showman, they want the showmanship, the extraordinary uh, way he played guitar. Black Elvis, that's what yeah. the, the The more freakish things he did, you know, the more they liked it. Although after they left the concert, he was a great man, but as I talked to people, you know, they kind of were not fulfilled in, in looking for the fantastic, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Right. You know. Well, I mean, how far can it's, it's still only rock music and he's still just a man, you know? Yeah. He's not going to deliver anyone out there in the audiences, you know, no matter what. Although, when I used to go to his concerts, he used to take me out of my body. You know, he did. I used to be in the audience, and next thing I know, I'd be up on stage or about 15 feet above him, you know, looking down on him, and I'd still be in the audience over there. You know, that's what, you know, that might have been just something between me and him, I don't know. I was in prison when I first heard it. But I heard it before on the radio, at least three times over the years, you know, that Jimmy Hatch was dead, or he shot acid in his eyeball, and he died. What do you mean you heard it before? I heard, you know, I heard heard it before on the radio. We, you know, just rumors stuff like, oh, I see. Jimmy Hendrix died, he shot cocaine in his eyeball, <laughs> and his brain exploded, <laughs> you know, or something like that. But I tell you something now, Jimmy never shot nothing. I don't care what they tell you, he never shot nothing. Uh, ask the doctor that did the autopsy. They didn't find one prick hole in him. Didn't find one mark or anything. That's the truth. You, if you can ever get the autopsy report, it'll verify it right there. They didn't find one punch or hole on him, or one, one track or anything. Well, anyway, where was I at? That, that you heard on the radio, you were in prison. Oh, yeah, I was in prison. And it was on the news, you know, and I, I said, I had a feeling, though, this was, this was it. You know, the other ones were promotional deals. You know, you can tell. And so uh, some guy downstairs starts screaming out, Jimmy is there. And the other guy says, shut up. His brother's right upstairs. So then uh, my name came over loudspeaker and I knew it was true then. I said, Leon Hendricks, 562391, report to the chaplain. And that was it. And I called my dad up. And, and he just, he tried to keep me cheerful and start laughing and joking about it. That's the way he is, you know. And so, they let me out of prison right after that because the guy that I lived with before, he had became the chairman of the board of the parole and probation or something. You know, the rich guy, that first foster home. And so, uh, he wrote a big old report and stuff like that and said, you know, a bunch of stuff. So, they let me out of prison. It was a, a choice of going to prison or going to the army, back to the army. But, um... So the phone call came. How, what'd your mind, what your what, what, what the hell happened to your mind, man? You must have just... You must have freaked, man. Well, I freaked because... Jimmy was more than a brother to you. He was, a, he was a brother, but he was a link to something else, too, wasn't he? Something bigger. Yeah, he was a link to eternal life for me. You know, he, get, he set me on the course to search. You know, if I hadn't heard his music, I would never search. I said, yeah, I believe in God, you know, big deal. He loves everybody, you know, he'll forgive me for whatever I do, and stuff like that. Mm, mm, mm. 
You know, it's the same old lie that's been told for ages. You're all right. <laughs> you'll be cool. You, uh, you'll be all right. So, call my dad. He joked with me on the phone. You know, you can't really get to the truth with him. Because, you know, he's, he's, he's been hiding stuff for so long. But it, that's good for him. So, uh, they let me out for the funeral. Deputy took you down. Yeah, but there were so many. They just let me go. They said. They couldn't, you know, they were supposed to be there with security and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, you know who. They let, let, let. <laughs> Pearl was guarding you, man. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got out of the car, man, they, I just got mobbed by people and stuff. And they just lifted their hands up and said, well, big deal. I, they had an escape plan for me and everything. You know, I had bunch of buddies out you know they, they had everything all together they had the car and <laughs> it was like Bonnie and Clyde man you know my friends they had uh, they had all kind of stuff packed up for me they had dope packed up and cigarettes that were already sealed and <laughs> you know <laughs> they were doing me great favors <laughs> <clears throat> I told him I said hey I said, don't mess with me. You know, I said, I'm at a funeral. You know, here all these guys talking about, hey, man, we got it all together here. We're going to take you out in this car. And we're, we're going to escape. I said, for what? You know, I said, you know, for what? You know, I, I, I couldn't realize what they, were, what they wanted me to get out for. To go back to, you know, tripping out with them or something like that. But they, you know, when a person is in that kind of life, that's, that's what they think about, you know. If you get caught, just make a break. You know, if you get shot at, shoot back. You know, that kind of stuff.